So I'm now joined by uh, Mr. Hassan Nasher, that's the Chief Executive Officer or the owner of B Winners Sporting or Betting Company uh, there. Uh, Mr. Hassan, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Hassan. Can you hear me? Yes, good evening, sir. Yes, um, Mr. Hassan will be speaking to us via, uh, over Skype. So first things first, this claims uh, uh, there that over 4,000 youth uh, won Sunday's uh, jackpot. If you are to pay each one of these uh, uh, young people $12,500, that would amount to about uh, $12 million. But are these claims, are they true? First of all, good evening to everyone, and thank you for letting me explain the jackpot product and uh, the situation with the winners. Yes. As we all know, all over the world, and in the Gambia as well, the first price of a jackpot is a shared price. Anyone can go to the terms and conditions in our website and see it there very clear. And you can even Google it to add to that. You can even Google share uh, about the jackpot price. So to answer to your question, yes, there was about 4,000 winners on the shared price of a jackpot. That's true. You mean, is this a shared price or individually each won 12,500? Which is it? Because the youth, what no, they are claiming is, is that each of them won. It is, it is a shared price. It is a share, shared price. So, yes. so what led to this problem then, this confusion that uh, all of them are saying that they individually won 12,500? What led to that? Um, today, as I speak to you, uh, we were at the police station and I met with uh, 15 representatives of this group that uh, came from Bundum and from several areas. And I explained to them, but uh, they, they don't want to understand and go according to the terms of condition. Our terms and condition clearly state that the jackpot money will be equally divided between all of our winners. And this money is waiting for all the customer who won. Yes, but 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 how comes how comes uh, was this not explained to them prior to them uh, playing the jackpot? Was this not explained to that that this was a joint uh, a jack a jack point, not necessarily an individual one? Again, I, I, again, I will repeat for you that the terms and condition is it's very straightforward for this product. I can even quote it to you directly from our website under the section of betting rules in the event multiple winner the jackpot will be shared okay so this was there but the youth apparently did there, not understand there, this did they it is there it is there it is there for the past few years since i started jackpot we started the first jackpot was 14 teams and that was one year ago and now um recently two weeks ago we decided to put a new jackpot which is five teams but jackpot is jackpot it doesn't matter whether it's one team whether it's 10 teams once we say jackpot it's a jackpot so the jackpot first prize is shared for example i can give you an example in gambia there is another betting companies which i would not like to call names they are running pmu and today if anybody wins the jackpot of pmu if multiple player win it it's a share they all know it and again to to just address to your question number one that you asked me about the 4000 people that won and i and i clearly told you yes out of this 4000 there's more than 2000 people that already understand the rules and they accepted our rule our terms and condition so it is the other 2000 that clearly didn't understand yes. and but there, there was a lot of noise and what happened was uh, the youth were so angry to the extent that they descended on on, on, on your on your colleague there but for the intervention of the police in saving him from the angry uh, mob uh, there so, and w w one thing also that has been said is that when they got to the police they requested that, that you come to the police station but you never showed up you refused to come um i was that was yesterday you're talking about yes yesterday I was, yes i was um, going to the police station and then uh, so I decided not to go because I am also as I speak to you I'm I, I am receiving lots of threats uh, live threats on my phones messages left and right so so they are threatening you you are you are saying that your life is at, at risk as we speak as we speak I believe that you believe that but now today you went to the police you went uh, to the Karaba police station when you got there what really happened 
we went to the police station and we met with uh, the commissioner of the regional and uh, my lawyer was present and uh, 15, 15 young uh, customers, my customers came representing the, the group that was, according to them, the group that was waiting at uh, Westfield. So we went to the police station to a small hall and they, each one of them said what they have to say and I again explained to them the rules and conditions of jackpot, which they clearly know. Because before they, before they went and played the jackpot to any of my agent, they went through the website, they created a coupon, and even when you're going through the website, at the bottom of it, you will always see that there is rules, there is terms and conditions, there is rules of betting. It's all stated in the website, it's clearly stated. If you have a separate phone or, or if you can connect, I can give you my website and you will see it clearly stated there. So it, these boys, they know they know what they're doing and they know exactly the terms and conditions of this web, of this uh, jackpot. And to add to that, it's because of this um, COVID-19, we have been shut down our premises for the past five months. But in our premises, if, if we open any of the premises, we still have flyers hanging up in the walls stating that um, the, uh, the jackpot and down you will see terms of, of condition applied and it's all written down there. So, so now uh, 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 what we have uh, uh, found out is that your company is one of the leading betting companies in the country. You have done pretty well. You have even uh, changed the life of a young man recently by awarding him uh, one million dollars. But really this problem, um, it will certainly have a, an impact on the image of your company uh, there. How Unfortunately... I Unfortunately, that's true. We work hard to give our players the best service, the best bonuses, and the best odds available in the market. We want to have more life-changing stories. We do support CSR activities. We do believe in our customer. We see all what we have to give them back. We, we always think how we can do better and improve ourselves. We can hope that we will see them again and have the cha change to change their lives. So, 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 so now the police, did they ask you to come back or... Uh, what are they saying now? The police, according to when I was there, the police stated that uh, it's a civil, it's a civil matter. If anyone has an uh, has an issue or a case against, they can they can proceed to to the court. Are you ready to take that route? To be honest with you. Uh, the company has its term and condition and we have our rules. We know that uh, we are at no fault because we are working under the, the government, uh, under the laws of the government of the Gambia. We are paying our license, we are paying our taxes, all is uh, up to date. And we have our, our t again, we have our terms and condition and our rules, so we cannot go against it. Do you have any other thing to say about this, this incident? The only thing I would like to tell the public, and especially to the ones that um, are still demanding, demanding for what they think they want, which they did not, because it's a share, it's a share price. I would like to tell them that I am feeling with them, and I know what they're going to, what, what they're going through. I'm also a gambler, so I can, I know what they're going through. But they all need to understand that there is rules, and every game has its own rules. I can uh, I can tell you that for sure they just have to really understand what the company and we should just I, I hope we solve this thing peacefully with them peacefully with them and you have stated earlier that the rule here is that when you have multiple winners they share the jackpot not necessarily everyone that's, getting that's that's uh, only that's only for the jackpot because uh, if you remember a few months ago as you early as you early stated we have changed a young boy life. The young boy that won the 1.2 million, or was it 1 million 20? I can't remember the exact amount. That young boy that won it, and we paid him in full because that was not a jackpot. That was a, that was individual games he played. And to add to add to the jackpot, these five teams that we chose on the jackpot. If you add the points, all these boys that are talking, they know the rules. If you add the points of these five teams and you multiply it by 25, you will not even get 300 dollars. So they know. So this alone should make them know why. This is why they rushed to play jackpot. They thought that it's, uh, they, they will try chance against the company that, oh, okay, let's play this one. 
If you know that five teams will give you 12,000, why did you play jackpot? Why didn't you play the normal ticket? But they know that it, it, it will not give you 12,500. It will give you less than 200 DLC or 300 DLC. I don't know the exact amount. So they went and tried. They went and played it so that they can try chance. They went, went and try chance uh, and it, it led to this unfortunate incident there. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much, Hassan. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you very much. That's for a Hassan.